What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller, here with another installment of Microbrand Monday. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a very interesting collaboration with Boulder. Uh, it's actually kind of a spin on a watch that we just recently reviewed. So let's just get right into it. It is 12.25 p.m. Let's get down to business. Okay, okay, so we got a big old box from Boulder Supply Company today. Let's see if there are any clues as to what is inside. Here it says Venture Limited Edition. So we already took a look at a couple Boulder Ventures, but this is a limited edition. Chigo with Boulder, designed by Kenji Chai. Now, some of you guys might already know who this man is. I hope I'm pronouncing his name properly. Uh, but this is going to be kind of an artsy take on a watch that we've seen a few times before, uh, but it is pretty interesting and I wanna take a look at it. Boulder did send this to me for review. I'm not being paid, uh, so full disclosure, this is just an interesting watch I wanted to take a look at. So let's unbox this and uh, see what's inside, yeah? Shouldn't this just slip out here? Ah, there we go. People get upset when I like mangle the boxes, so I'm trying to do this as delicately as possible. Okay, so we have this NATO strap that has this very interesting, almost like blue uh, pattern, blue camo pattern. And then what I just realized, that same pattern is seen here over by the label. Uh, and then it says right here up at the top, it's about time on that flap. But you guys wanna see the watch. Let's pull this Pelican case hard box type thing. There we go, wanted to grab it by the handle. Okay, here we go. So as I've shown you guys, you know, numerous times over the years with the Boulder watches, uh, they come in these kind of hard cases, almost like a Pelican case, kind of lends itself to Boulder's whole aesthetic of being kind of a rough and tumble field watch purveyor. We have two clips here, they just pop out. And let's see. Actually, one thing that's really cool is you could actually lock these. Uh, someone asked me what these were for on the last unboxing. It's because you could literally uh, put padlocks on here and uh, lock it down if you so choose. Okay, so where's the watch? This looks like an action figure. Well, let's talk about it. All right, guys, so as we get in a little bit closer to this package and we see everything that's in here, uh, I wanna be kind of upfront with you guys. Full disclosure, I don't know much about art or graffiti art, you know. I, I'm not the most cultured human being in the world. So unless it's super duper mainstream, like Banksy or something, uh, I don't know much about it. Now, thankfully, Boulder sent me a letter with the press kit along with this watch. So it's kind of edumacating me a little bit. Uh, so here we go, beating the odds and inspiring through art. Boulder Supply Co. collaborates with graffiti artist Kenji Chai. So, um, as we know, Boulder is a Singaporean watchmaker, and uh, I guess with this new line of Boulder Ventures, they've collaborated with a very popular Malaysian graffiti artist, Kenji Chai. Now, the watch incorporates artwork from Kenji, but I guess one of the main selling points is that each one of these limited edition packages comes with a figurine of his like main character known as Chigo. Uh, I wanna talk about that a little bit more in a moment. So, well, I guess we can kind of go over it right now. I guess the really interesting thing about these figurines is that they're 3D printed from a uh, prototype master mold, essentially, and then they're each hand painted. So each one of these figurines that you'd get from one of these packages, uh, they're going to be different from each other, uh, which is really, really cool. So, you know, Kenji didn't just mass produce these. I guess that they're, they're printed all in a batch, but he's actually hand painting each one, which is kind of insane. So um, I guess this is a quote from Kenji. He says, it was always a dream of mine to create my own toy because we couldn't afford toys when I was a kid. So he encourages people to turn disadvantages into strengths, which is something I definitely resonate with and uh, something I think we could all kind of learn from. So I thought that was very, very motivational, kind of a positive note. Uh, and just one last last piece of, of information, Chigo is a combination of his surname, 
uh, mixed with the Mandarin word for dog, which I think is go. So uh, yeah, there, there we go. Well, let's take a look at everything in the box, yeah? Okay, so we have this booklet and uh, we do have a quote from Kenji here. It says, imagine climbing up a mountain. Every step on the upwards trail makes you want to give up after a while. It's exhausting, but if you stay on the course, the view at the top is priceless. That's very positive. And then we have, you know, more of the um, media stuff from Boulder. They're very good about that. They always have a bunch of decals. I have a few of these on my hydro flasks. Getting to know your watch, uh, yada, 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 all the paperwork. Um, and then very cleverly on their microfiber square it says, don't worry, I can handle the dirt. But I guess if you did want to wipe it off, you could uh, with that included microfiber. Okay, so I want to take a look at this figurine first, and then we're gonna take a look at the watch. See, I don't need to spend too much time on the actual watch because we've reviewed numerous Boulder Ventures. So this is the Chigo dog that was hand-painted. Uh, it's actually very funny because he is a graffiti artist, and it seems that Chigo here is uh, ready to make some artwork of his own because he's holding a little canister there, paint can. Oh, he's got a little thermos there, little throw bag, uh, or I should say throw mat on his bag. So he's kind of ready to, to go on a hike and then do some artwork. He's wearing kind of a camo pullover. What are these? Maybe Vans? Some uh, cuffed pants. This guy kind of dresses like me. It's kind of freaky. He has a hat. And then here, it's actually signed Kenji Chai 2020. Very, very cool. Thanks, Kenji. Look at him. Okay, guys, real quick, I just realized something. The hat was moving around a little bit, and I was like, oh gosh, did I already break this, like, handmade figurine? No. There's a magnet. So it's not coming off. You can literally do whatever you want with the hat. Look at that. Kind of like that look there. All righty. <laughs> little details, man. Very, very cool. All right, let's take a look at all the details on the Venture. All righty, all you freaks out there, it's time to remove some protective plastics. So let us start the time lapse. Gato, hit the music. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so we have a Boulder Venture Titanium Automatic here. Now, uh, for my longer time viewers, you will recall we reviewed one of these in the, let's see, I think it was the first episode of 2020, uh, January 2020, before I knew what that year had in store for us. So if you wanna see that review, you can click up here and it has pretty much all the technical details about this watch. Now, this watch, has a few differences, okay? So yes, it has the Seiko Instruments NH35. Yes, it does hack and hand wind. Has a threaded crown with a 200 meter water resistance rating and a sapphire crystal. But you can see there's some Chigo artwork on the dial and you can see that doggy's profile there. But also what I think most people are gonna be interested in, titanium bracelet, guys. So this is actually the first boulder that I've reviewed to utilize a metal bracelet. And this is actually solid titanium, so incredibly light. We're actually gonna throw this on a scale. All right, so here is my little scale. Let's go ahead and zero it out. Um, just for reference, here is my Seiko SPBN 031 Tuna on a single piece strap. This is a 7C46 quartz, so no mechanical bits and bops inside there. One. 15 grams, okay, 115 grams. Now, let's put on this Boulder Venture Titanium Automatic with its bracelet, 90 grams, 91. Wow, so <laughs> the Boulder Venture Titanium Automatic with its bracelet is lighter than my quartz tuna on a NATO. 
impressive. That should give you some insight as to just how freaky light this watch is. So as we get up close, we can see the indexes are painted on the dial. And it's interesting because the markers are kind of just bordered outlines. They're not filled in. So it kind of gives it this negative look. And then we can see the handset very, very bolder. I really like the kind of blue hued loom uh, everywhere on this watch. Gives it, again, kind of this negative display almost where the the matte black of the dial kind of seeps through each index everything is very very understated nothing really pops except for this very bolder second hand kind of pip there uh, again whenever we see that we just know this is a bolder watch uh, let's go ahead look at the top index the 12 o'clock index and see if we can see something a bit different over there. Yes, indeed, there is something a bit different. As you can see, there's no boulder written out on the dial, only the boulder logo, which again, kind of understated. That's pretty much the entire theme of this watch. Um, I really do like it. You can see the 24 hour markers uh, kind of on the center dial, uh, almost bordering Chigo's face there. Um, but interesting that they did not put boulder on the dial. They really wanted this character to kind of stick out. Now let's move the handset around and take a look at some of the writing that is on the dial. All right, so let's go ahead, unthread the crown, because again, it is a threaded crown with a 200 meter water resistance rating. And then we're just going to move the handset around a little bit. We can talk about the NH35, very smooth workhorse movement. Again, we've seen it a million times. No date though, so they did ghost the date complication. I don't know if that's going to be a turnoff to you, the viewer, but I know some people don't mind it and some people would rather have the date window there. But for this design, they wanted to, again, let the artwork speak and they probably didn't want to obscure it. Uh, so they left it as minimal as possible to allow the artwork to kind of show. Uh, so let's get up close and take a look at right above the six o'clock index. All right, so as that second hand sweeps by, we can see this is signed Chai Go. Again, a mixture of Kenji Chai's name and Go, which is Mandarin for dog. So uh, we can see he has his tongue sticking out there. And just all in all, the one interesting thing that keeps jumping into my mind is just the juxtaposition between, you know, Boulder being such a tough outdoorsy uh, watchmaker and then this kind of urban art right this graffiti art so um it's kind of a mix of, of two worlds and i really really enjoy it i think boulder did a great job pulling it off and uh, i want to thank kenji for making this artwork and again for that really cool hand painted figurine um but this is this is interesting in in a really good way so let's go ahead measure the watch really quick we'll put it on the wrist and again we don't need to spend too much time with the particulars of the watch itself because again uh, we've reviewed a few ventures already now of course we are going to do a loom test but before we do the loom test we have to have the right tools so one of my very generous viewers sent to my inbox a uv flashlight okay and Esco light says right here, caution, high intensity, ultraviolet light, avoid eye and skin exposure and batteries. So thank you so much. I don't know if his name wants to be on camera, but uh, you know who you are and you're probably watching this episode. So thank you. He was sick of me doing the loom tests with uh, my torch, my normal torch because uh, it was blinding you guys apparently, so he's giving me a proper <laughs> UV flashlight. So let's do the loom test properly for once. All right, I am so excited because I've actually never used one of these UV flashlights before, so let's go. Okay, so that's insane. It makes it glow immediately. <laughs> So cool, thank you so much for the flashlight. This is a game changer and this flashlight is going on my desk here in the office. So that is, it is always accessible for these reviews. Thank you, I will be using this for every review from this point on, thank you. All right, so uh, as far as the loom goes, <laughs> look at that flashlight. 
It's incredible. Boulder does a very good job with their loom. We can see uh, even the Chigo signage is uh, glowing there. This is so incredibly cool, man. I'm gonna be playing with this all day. Thank you for the flashlight again. Uh, and Boulder, good job with the loom. We can see dual colored loom, um, but I'm honestly having more fun with, <laughs> with this torch. Uh, man, my viewers are the best. You guys freaking rock. This, this made my week, honestly. Look at how cool that looks. All righty, let's go ahead and grab that digital caliper tool. Let's go ahead, boop, widest point. Because again, this does have almost like a cushion case, kind of. Uh, we're getting 38.2 millimeters, lug to lug. Let's go ahead. 44.2 thickness. This is the automatic. 12, 12 millimeters on the button, actually. Yeah, very, very reasonable. And again, for those looking for a very competent uh, field watch that's well under the 40 millimeter sweet spot, this is an absolute stunner. Again, guys, you don't need to choose this Chigo edition. You can choose uh, one of the numerous other Boulder editions. They even, again, have a chronograph iteration. If you're interested, I did a review. You can click up here and take a look at that. But yeah, I mean, this wears exactly like a field watch should, and I can say that even without putting this one on the wrist because I've worn these multiple times, hiking, camping, uh, everything. I've swam in one of them. So yeah, again, for those of you looking for a proper modern take on a field watch that's not gargantuan on the wrist, the Boulder Venture should be one of your first looks at least. I don't wanna say it should be the only one you choose, but it should definitely be one of the first ones you look at. All right, let's put it on the wrist. And of course, as I undid the clasp, I noticed something on the case back. So here is a character and then Kenji Chai. Very, very, very cool. Um, again, Boulder is known for utilizing engravings on their case backs, whether it be a boot and like a map or a maze, or even when they did that topographical pattern on that display case back for the Boulder, uh, Boulder Expedition, excuse me, version one. Uh, they're very good about these kind of subtle details on their watches. So. Uh, yeah, very cool. Let's put it on the wrist. So here it is, the Boulder Venture automatic solid titanium on the titanium bracelet. Again, this is the Chigo limited edition with Kenji Chai's artwork on the dial. Very cool, freaky light, but wears exactly as you'd think. Again, very proper as far as the dimensions under that 40 millimeter sweet spot. What was it, 91 grams? So you're almost going to misplace this thing on your wrist, it's that light. And at 12 millimeters thick, uh, it is definitely not a cumbersome watch. So yeah, Boulder Venture, I really can't say anything uh, else that I haven't said before. It's just an incredible, simple, little modern take on a very competent spec monster of a field watch. And there you have it guys, another Microbrand Monday in the books. I wanna thank everybody involved, whether it be my channel members who allow me to film every day in the office, uh, my regular viewers, my new viewers, because again, uh, what the heck is a channel without its viewers? I wanna thank Boulder and uh, every other micro brand that's been allowing me to do Microbrand Mondays every week. Again, this has been an incredibly successful series and we can't do this without these micro brand watchmakers and again of course i need to thank kenji chai um incredible artwork here man uh really really fun again i am not uh an art aficionado i don't i don't think i'm qualified enough to really critique anything uh but this does look really cool and again the fact that these figurines are all hand painted by you uh that is very very special so guys if you're interested in a very competent field watch. I, again, I think Boulder should be one of the first companies you take a look at. They're not paying me a penny to say that. Uh, I am very, very fond of Boulder. You guys know that. There are Reddit threads. There are, you know, conspiracy theories that I am the owner of Boulder Supply Company. I'm not, I'm really not affiliated with them. I'm just a fan. And uh, if you're looking for something that kind of meshes seamlessly the world of urban art and um, outdoor field watchiness, then uh, this Kenji Kai, Kenji Chai limited edition, I apologize, I know I'm probably saying his name wrong every time. Uh, this should be a watch you consider. One funny thing about me kind of struggling with his name is that 
The CH in English would be ch, right? Chai. And then there's chai tea, of course. But in Hebrew, I look at that word in, in chai, it means life. So like whenever I see C-H-A-I, I assume it's an English uh, transliteration of the Hebrew chai. So yeah, whatever. I'm an idiot. I'm a nerd. Very cool watch. Thank you, everyone. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.